How you doing, everybody? Welcome to the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Tonight, FCAT Sports, once again this season, proudly presents some Franklin County hockey action as the Greenfield Green Wave take on the East Hampton Eagles. My name's Lou Bordeaux, the Green Wave skate doctor. We'll be ready for the opening face-off right after this. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome back to Greenfield the teams finish their warm-ups before tonight's right division game between the Greenfield Green Wave and the East Hampton Eagles. Very shortly, we're going to get player introductions. We're going to have the national anthem. So far this season, East Hampton is four wins and two losses overall. Greenfield still undefeated at 2-0-2. We're about the quarter way through the season here so far, and this is one of those games that actually has playoff implications right off the bat. Going to have Riley Drew starting in goal tonight for the Green Wave. Riley's got one shutout on the season so far. The opposite end of the ice in goal for East Hampton. We're going to have Tyler Cordes. He's also sported a shutout this season. Both guys goals against averages right around two. So the teams are finishing up their warm ups. And we're going to take it down to rinkside.
are just about ready for face-off action here in Greenfield. As this game is being videoed, it's Saturday, December 29th. On behalf of everyone at FCAT Sports, I would certainly like to take this opportunity to wish you all a very happy, healthy New Year. New Year's Day coming up on Tuesday. Going to be 2019. Those pages are just flying off the calendar. And there you see the green wave. They are getting ready for this one. They know this is a big game. Early in the season, it's a big game. And we are just moments away from the faceoff. We have Doug Hineski take the draw for Greenfield. Green Wave 2 0 and 2 on the early season. Overall, that is. East Hampton overall is 4 and 2. Taking the draws, Brian, Brian Bauman. Forces in right off the bat. Ooh, heavy hit, heavy hit right away. We've got a whistle and player down for East Hampton. Nine seconds into this one. Referee signal, it's roughing. And it's going to be Brian Bauman sent to the box. Nine seconds into this one. From my vantage point, it did not look like an intentional hit. Referees having a conversation. Now they talk to the team captains. We've got Doug Hineski and Christopher Tenzar for the Eagles. Being brought up to speed there. Referee headed over to tell head coach Adam Bouchard of the Green Wave. So I'm wave five fingers. I hope that's not going to be a major. Face off coming back into the Greenfield zone. And regardless of the length of that penalty, this is not, yeah, it is a five minute major for, uh, for roughing. This is not the way the Green Wave wanted to start this one. East Hampton with the fresh legs out there. Garen Fujil wins the draw. Jacob Bryant with the puck for Greenfield. Does the right thing and clears that one. Five minute major to Brian Bauman for roughing. Tough way to start the day. Dougie Hineski delivering a nice hip check there. Jacob Bryan in pursuit. Hineski banks it off the wall. Fujio with the puck for East Hampton. Takes a look, takes a look, cycles behind the cage. Blocked by Kevin Bauman. Frontier student, by the way. Fujil wheels. Jacob Bryant can't clear it. Shot goes wide. Kevin Bauman chases. Puts the body on to Matt Sullivan. Shot hit the side of the net. And Bryant clears. Green Wave is killed off the first minute of this power play. Greenfield getting some fresh legs out there. Aiden Roach, another Frontier student. Clears it in. Killing some more time off of this major penalty.
Drew with a save. Puck goes right through the crease. And Jake Croto with a nice backhanded clear. Tyler Cordes plays the puck. And East Hampton looking at the breakout. Got Cole Grohowski with the puck. Nice, nice. Clear by Kyle Barnes. Another Frontier. So we've got six Frontier students in the Green Wave lineup. Five dressed tonight. Eli Boyle with it. Banks it off the boards. Nice defensive play by Mike McGoldrick. Mike McColgan with the puck for East Hampton. Finds his open man on the wing. Tyler Darling couldn't handle. Aiden Roach looking to play the body back there behind the net. Mikey McGoldrick steals. Picks it up, RL Petey. And clears the zone. First three minutes of this power play have only brought one shot on goal by East Hampton. Once again, Mikey McGoldrick clears it. Green Wave changes up again. Jacob Bryant in the neutral zone backhands it. All the way down, once again, Matt Sullivan regroups for the Eagles. Chris Tensar with it, comes back through center ice. Takes the body. Eagles looking for that perfect spot. A lot of passing really didn't materialize with anything. Greenfield held a tight box there. Jake Croto doing a good job on the four check there, as was Kyle Barnes. Got 10.52 remaining in the first period. It's a scoreless tie right now. Minute two remaining on that major penalty to Brian Bauman. Green Wave has played tough so far. Doug Hineski out there to take the draw against Garen Fuchil. And that one hits the net. Falls down into souvenir country. I'm trying to throw it back over the net. That's not going to work out. East Hampton's got their first line out there for the last 51 seconds of this power play. Fujil wins the draw. Sends it back on the point to Matt Sullivan. Nice save, Riley Drew. Puck loose in the feet. Doug Hineski tries to clear. They've cleared the zone, out through the neutral zone. Not going to pursue it. East Hampton starts out deep again. 25 seconds left in the power play. Tensar shoots it right into Riley Drew. Took it in the logo, took it in the green wave. Good start for Riley Drew, 10-12 remaining. 21 seconds remain on the East Hampton power play. Eli Boyle takes the draw for East Hampton. Back to Kevin Bauman who clears. Kevin Bauman, the freshman. Riley Drew holding the post nicely there. A little bit of a risky play. Brian Bauman fresh out of the box came back to defend and Tyler Cordes makes his first save of the night. So 
So that's a good sign. Five minute power play. We came away unscathed on that one. Sean O'Sullivan getting that first shot off for Greenfield. Brian Bauman in pursuit. And Doug Hineski with the puck. His line mates follow in. Aiden Roach with a shot from the point. Looked like it might have been going wide, but Cordis gloved it nonetheless. 9 13 remain in the first period. Brian Bauman with those fresh legs takes a draw. A little bit of a rugby stalemate there. Aiden Roach dumps it back in. Tyler Darling tries to get the play started for East Hampton. Hands off to Mike McColgan. Breaks out. Clears in. Mikey McGoldrick of Greenfield stops the play. Aiden Roach with the puck. Dishes over to Jacob Bryant. Set up nicely for Kyle Barnes. Another save, Cordis. Clearing attempt right through the right through the goal crease. Cam Rice behind the cage, and we got a whistle. And the Nets come off its moorings. Faceoff will be to the left of Tyler Cordis. Tyler comes into this game with a 2.00 goals against average. Save percentage of 9.05, respectable by anybody's definition. Battle in the corner for it. John O'Sullivan's right there. Vineski behind the net. Oh. O'Sullivan couldn't quite get his stick on it. Plays all the way back down behind the Greenfield goal line. Riley Drew covers. Takes the whistle. Gives the Greenfield players the opportunity to regroup here. Once again, we'd like to thank FCAT Sports for bringing this game into your living rooms and computer screens. Aiden Roach in pursuit of Jacob Batchelder. Oh, big shoulder into RL Petey's chest. Aiden Roach going deep. Battle behind the cage. Adam Savoy. Putting himself between the East Hampton player. And the puck. It's a good battle. Once again, Aiden Roach has been saying his name all night already. Been a busy young man out there. Shot goes wide from the point. Tyler Darling couldn't quite keep it in. Gives a chance for the Green Wave to reorganize. And Savoy dumps it in. Green Wave gets some fresh legs out there. We're down to 6.20 remaining in the first period. Scoreless tie, 0-0 here in Greenfield. Doug Hineski back out. Brian Bauman. 
Little tilt to whirl there. Bauman looks, dishes back to the point. His brother Kevin dumps it in. Sean O'Sullivan in pursuit. Eli Boyle tries clearing around. Got a little bit of carnage going on out here now. Jacob Bryant right in the middle of that. Doug Hineski couldn't quite get the shot away. Just got boiled at the last minute. Got a little bit on it. Shot goes back in. Tyler Cordes holds it. Five twenty two remaining. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Greenfield wins the draw, but right away, Jacob Batchelder. Got a shot off. Riley held it and then uh, looked like he stamped and snowed Riley. It's never welcome. Chris Tenzar with some sharp edges there. Riley kind of glaring at him. Brian Bauman back out for the draw. Almost looks like at this point neither team wants to be guilty of making a mistake. And really two two teams of this caliber probably a wise way to get this game underway. Aiden Roach once again takes a look. Tried banking it off the half wall intercepted by Garen Fugio. Works it down behind the cage. Mike McGoldrick wraps it around. Cam Rice after it. And Kyle Barnes knocks it out. It's over to Ricey. It's a shot away from about 40 feet out. Court has turned that aside. Jacob Batchelder didn't want it. Sean O'Sullivan took it into the zone before Matt Sullivan cleared down the other end. Roach again. Back behind his cage. Bowie Harris loses his stick. Oh, excuse me, that's Aiden Roach. Roach, he loses his stick. Kineski moves it up the boards. Kineski strips him. Goes through three eagles. That didn't work out. Matt Wilhite in the middle of that one. Kept the puck in temporarily. Back to Jacob Bryant. Jacob Bryant. Just long lob out. There's Bowie Harris working his way back. Bryant dishes behind the net. O'Sullivan looks to put the body on to Eli Boyle. Boyle returns the favor. And we've got a little something brewing. O'Sullivan and Eli Boyle. A lot of contact there. Bowie Harris up to Sean O'Sullivan. Sully takes it. Kyle Barnes just picked up his stick. Got trapped in his feet. Harris once again. Up to Jake Croto. Gets it into Brian Bauman. Brian Bauman, nice move. Oh! Kyle Barnes. Kyle Barnes tripped in the slot. Going to be a green wave power play here. Murphy calls out a hook on Jacob Ross. Probably a good penalty to take because Kyle Barnes was all by himself. As Bauman came in from the right wing. At 2.28 remain in the first period. Green wave on the power play. Dish comes back to Jacob Bryant. 
Clears in wide. Puck is back to Bryant. Through a maze of legs. Adam Savoy behind the net. Cam Rice back to Jacob Bryant. Ooh. Chris Tenzar went to make the glove stop there. He's got a goalie for that. Deflected off his hand right under Tyler Cordes who froze it. Still a minute 36 remain on the power play. 0-0 zero, zero tie. Brian Bauman with the puck. Wheels. Chris Hampton standing tall in that uh, slot area. Sean O'Sullivan back on the point. Clear it over, O'Sullivan. And it's in! That's Aiden Roach. Aiden Roach's third goal of the season on the power play. And the Green Wave take a 1-0 lead. Aiden Roach with the power play goal set up nicely. Former Green Wave alum Zach Geister looking to retrieve the goal chicken as it were. Epic fail in trying to get it back into the uh, right hands. Aiden Roach the goal scorer. Puts it up into the neutral zone. Puck comes down behind Riley Drew. It's Aiden Roach and takes a look. Back over to Kevin Bauman. Puck's loose. Nice save. Riley threw a maze. Down under a minute in this first period. Suddenly Greenfield stopped moving their feet. And here goes Brian Bauman. Oh, what a move. Nice save, Tyler Cordes. Only one assist on the Greenfield goal. Let's give it to number 20, Sean O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, heck of a playmaker, and even when he was back on the point on that power play, made all the difference. Bowie Harris clears it out. Jay Croto in pursuit, looking to make it happen with 10 seconds to go. And Jacob Bryant gets it out, and that's the first period of play. The end of one period. Greenfield Green Wave one, East Hampton Eagles zero. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslex Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Time for some second period action. What a first period that was. 
I did get the shots on goal for you. Ten apiece. Riley Drew with ten saves. Nine for Tyler Cordes. Green Wave lead this one one to nothing. Headed into the second skating period. Had a nice conversation with head coach Adam Bouchard between periods. Coach was very pleased with the Green Wave penalty kill early on in that first period. Teams have changed ends. Riley Drew off to our left. Tyler Cordes to our right. And second period action is underway. After winning the draw, Tyler Galpin, freshman for East Hampton, dumps it deep. Jacob Bryant standing tall. Looking to make a move coming this way. O'Sullivan got a stick on it, but he was on the other side of the red line. That one's an icing call. And after 24 seconds, we're going to do this all over again. This Green Wave hockey program features kids from eight schools, one of which is Frontier Regional. Thank you very much, Frontier. Here comes Sean O'Sullivan. A little slash in the ankle there. A little stick work. And as quick as it goes in, it goes out. East Hampton went offside on their own there. And this is another icing. Teams are getting their legs early on in the first minute of the second period of play. As I was saying, eight schools feed into the Green Wave program, one of which is Frontier Regional. Six of our student athletes are on the Green Wave roster. That was one of them took the draw, Brian Bauman. Puck came back, quick save by Riley Drew as he just turned it aside. Puck was into the corner. It's Christopher Tensar, number 32. Big, big, big young man out there. Kyle Barnes moves in deep. It's a draw! Oh, what a save! Oh! There's that Tensar again, just takes Mikey McGoldrick right out. What a save Cordes just made. That was first minute of play. East Hampton appears to be getting a little more physical. Kyle Barnes shoots it wide. East Hampton coming off an eight to two win over West Springfield. Former Western Mass powerhouse. And that one, they scored five first period goals. Oh, that elbow is a little high. East Hampton definitely, definitely getting more physical. Here goes Doug Hineski all alone. Shot it high. Jacob Batchelder might have gotten a little piece of Dougie as he went in. Dougie, one of our Frontier students. It's Jake Proto behind the net. Jake Croto hustles all the time out there. He's right back in the middle of that one. Jacob Bryant lobs it into the corner. Doug Hineski in pursuit. Dougie takes the body. Puck is loose. Back into the East Hampton zone. Looks like nobody wants it. Finally, Tyler Darling finds Eli Boyle. Riley Drew holding the post. Sean O'Sullivan, it's an elbow on the back of his head. Puck is loose once again. Brian Bauman in pursuit. He's got it. Circles back. Sean O'Sullivan just couldn't get the good wood on it. Bauman picked it up. He shot wide. Tortoise slaps it back behind the cage.
Bauman once again has it and he's stripped of it by Boyle. Back out to center ice, Bowie Harris. And plays opened up quite a bit more here in the early stages of the second period. Just shot high by O'Sullivan. Kevin Bauman, another Frontier student. Up to Kyle Barnes. Brian Bauman in pursuit. Jay Croto with the steal. Couldn't quite set it up. Puck is cleared out. East Hampton making a change. Now Green Wave follows suit. Banks it off the half wall. Plays on side. Vineski takes a look. Jake Proto on the receiving end. Plenty of carnage in this first part of the second period. Good hard hitting clean hockey action from here in Greenfield. Great crowd on hand tonight too. Puck's loose. Proto couldn't quite get it back on his forehand. East Hampton ices the puck. One of the few whistles we've had. Already seen almost five minutes go in this second period. 10.04 remain. Scores 1-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Carol Petey lined up to take the draw against Garen Fugil. Fugil with 16 points so far on the season. Mike McGoldrick stands Fuchil right up at the blue line. And East Hampton. East Hampton just like that. Jacob Batchelder wheeled in behind the cage and that was Chris Denzar. A little discontent on the Greenfield side there. Here the net was off. This one's going to count. Just like that, we've got a tie hockey game, one to one. Darren Fujil takes the draw, goes in wide. Jacob Bryant with a no look. And sometimes you have to look. O'Sullivan in pursuit, prevents the icing. Brian Bauman, he scores! Frontiers, Brian Bauman, just like that, gets the lead back for the green wave. Sean O'Sullivan came into the East Hampton zone. He was forced off of the play, but Brian Bauman trailed, took the puck, Deke to Tyler Cordes out. Beautiful backhander and Greenfield has a 2-1 lead. Greenfield with a delayed offside. They regroup. And at the other end, East Hampton is offside. Referee calls for the faceoff all the way down in the East Hampton zone. 8.54 remaining in the second period. Green Wave lead this one 2-1. to one On a nice Brian Bauman goal. Proto dishes it out. Oh. And just like that, 
East Hampton goes tic tac toe and ties this one back up. The Eagles got in deep on that one, and all of a sudden, we've got a 2 2 tie. East Hampton wins the draw, but they moved it in. Jacob Bryant took it, knocked it back out over the blue line. Brian Bauman. Here comes O'Sullivan and Haneski. Haneski in his feet. Dougie takes a look. O'Sullivan behind there helping him out. Kevin Bauman comes in. O'Sullivan with some nice pursuit there. Neski over to O'Sullivan. Oh, kicked out by Tyler Cordes. Good pad save on the low shot. Eli Boyle back to the point. Off of Byron Dudas. Here comes O'Sullivan. Looking to go top shelf. Cordes with his mitt. Cordes with another save. Boyle moves into the greenfield zone. Down behind the net, Kyle Barnes wraps it around the boards. That's Puccio with it. Four Green Wave players get on him. Jacob Ross comes back to play the puck for East Hampton. Gets it up to center ice. It's Garen Fugil. Johnny Zatowski got in deep there, but couldn't quite get the puck where he needed it to be. Zatowski once again with it. And it's cleared in. Riley's going to take that whistle. We got 6:53 remaining. Score's tied at 2-2. Pujil wins the draw. Back over to Matt Sullivan. Ooh, puck deflects high. Riley just puts his glove on that one. Good play by Riley. Trying to get control back here. And once again, we're going to remind you, you're watching Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. We're looking for this face off. We see RL Petey takes the draw. Puck is loose. It's Brian Bauman in pursuit. Oh! Too many sticks there, folks. Bauman back behind the net. Petey in pursuit. Puck is loose. Nobody wanted it. Oh, what a move. Oh! Big save by Cordes. McGoldrick keeps it in. Gets it back behind the neck to Bauman. Bowie Harris keeps it in on this side. Greenfield legs looking a little tired here. A lot of physical play. Greenfield's going to change here. Puck dangerously goes by the Greenfield bench door. Back in behind the cage, Bowie Harris, no look back up this way. Tyler Galpin knocks it back around behind the cage. I think both sides want to take a breather here. It's Garen Fugil with it, and the puck comes out. Jake Proto with a nice forecheck back this way. Here comes Sean O'Sullivan again. O'Sullivan into the zone, oh, what a move! Cordes turns it aside, Proto. Got a delayed call coming up here. East Hampton gonna go for a slash. Oh, 
Yeah, it's good to see Dougie Haneski back out on the ice. He missed a shift there. All the physicality that's going on. Green Wave go on the power play with 5.08 remaining in the second period. Haneski gets it back on the point. Kevin Bauman back up to Dougie. Haneski takes a look. Turned aside by Cordes. Cleared back into the neutral zone. It's Kevin Bauman with it. Garen Fujil knocks it deep into the greenfield zone. Kevin Bauman drops it for Doug Haneski. Big collision over here. O'Sullivan tries the low shot again. Cordes through a maze of legs equal to the task. Drew holds the puck back there for Aiden Roach. Frontier student comes up through, takes a look, goes deep, takes a look around. Back on the point to Jacob Bryant. Off the waffle board. Oh! Puck was loose and Roach just couldn't get his hand on it. Once again, they clear. One minute remaining in the power play. Greenfields looked strong on this power play. Roach keeps it in. It's a, Portis is down and out in Beverly Hills. Maneski tries the bank shot to no avail. Pucks to the net. You got to take those shots. Never know when you're going to have a little puck luck. Kyle Barnes takes one for the team. East Hampton clears again. We've got 20 seconds remaining on the Green Wave power play. A couple of good scoring chances so far. Tyler Cordes equal to the task. Jacob Bryant. A bit of a hook on his stick went undetected. Cam Rice back over to McGoldrick. Puck gets deflected. Penalty's over. Back to full and equal strength on both sides. Kyle Barnes with a nice, nice attempt. Jacob Bryan again. The backhand goes deep. Kyle Barnes with the steal. Oh, a big save. Big save on Kyle Barnes. We've got 249 remaining in the second period. It's a 2-2 tie here in Greenfield. I've got to say, this game is turning out to be exactly what we thought it would be. Haneski comes in. Another save by Cordes. Little extracurricular behind the play. Greenfield recalibrating. Jake Proto. Paired with Haneski and Bauman here. Pucks outside the zone. Brian Bauman. Haneski. Mike McColgan for East Hampton tries clearing. Bowie Harris keeps it in. Back down to Tyler Galpin. McColgan moves it out of the zone. Old Rahowski follows it in. Down to a minute and a half remaining in the second period. Chris Tensar poking at it. Riley's not giving up that post. So you're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. We're very pleased to be coming to you tonight from Greenfield, Massachusetts, USA, in case you're watching on YouTube. And if you aren't, share this with your friends. 
some great student athletes are on the ice here tonight. Cam Rice in pursuit. Steal at Sean O'Sullivan. Looks like Coach Pouchard has juggled his lines a little bit here in the second period. And it's in! Aiden Roach! Aiden Roach from the point! Looks like it might have been deflected. We're going to have to wait and hear on that. But Aiden Roach, that's the exact reason pucks go to the net, boys and girls. Keep your feet moving, keep the puck headed to the net, and good things happen. Greenfield takes a 3-2 lead with a minute seven remaining. Gonna wait in here on that if there was a deflection or not, but it sure looked like it was a clean shot from here. East Hampton and Riley. 52 seconds remaining in the second period. Tyler Cordes has been by far the busier of the two netminders, but Riley has certainly been there for the Green Wave when they needed him to be. Green Wave with a 3-2 lead with only 52 seconds remaining here in the second period. Bucks loose. Shot wide by Byron Dudas. Kyle Barnes stripped as he comes out. Down to 30 seconds. That's Jacob Batchelder headed in. Chris Tensar, nice save, Riley Drew. Big hip check on Kyle Barnes by Byron Dudas. Down to 10 seconds remaining. Fuchil moves the puck in, that's Tensar. And a fast and furious second period is complete here in Greenfield. Green Wave skate off after two periods with a 3-2 lead. All I can say is get something to drink, get your snacks, because we're going to have a big third period coming up. Once again, Green Wave 3, East Hampton Eagles 2. We'll be, be, we'll be back with third period action right after this on FCAT Sports. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Welcome back to Greenfield, Massachusetts, USA. We are ready for some third period action. What a hockey game we have had so far. Green Wave lead this one by a count of three to two. This is gonna be quite the third period. Teams are ready, here we go. Right off the draw, deep into the East Hampton zone. Tyler Galpin plays. Just like that. Puck back down into the Greenfield zone. Once again, East Hampton physical right out of the gate. Oh. 
Neski looking to make that nice move. Obstructed by Matt Sullivan. Pucks back to Jacob Bryant. Intercepted. It's Jacob Batchelder. However, Kevin Bauman takes it, winds it around. Here's Chris Tenzar behind the cage. Oh! Batchelder just couldn't get the good wood on it, but boy, oh boy, he was in all alone there. Riley Drew equal to the task. Shots on goal in that second period. Greenfield had 13 for a two period total of 23. East Hampton had nine for a two period total of 19. Green Wave out shooting East Hampton 23 to 19 after two periods. Aiden Roach up, puck hits the net. I'm gonna start all over again. Speaking of statistics, I got the word in between periods that that third Greenfield goal was tipped in. Sean O'Sullivan with the goal. Aiden Roach gets the assist and the puck hits the net again. I know the guys have fun doing that in practice. When the coach isn't looking, of course. Puck bounces loose. Riley knocks it away. Kyle Barnes takes it out over the blue line. Plays offside, plays offside. And it's coming back this way. Old Rahowski had a head of steam there. Pulls offside. We're getting a little sloppy here in the early stages of the third period. We've got 13.25 remaining. Michael Goldrick playing catch with Tyler Galpin. Pucks loose, Kyle Barnes once again back to the point. Galpin shoots it wide. Krahowski with it. He goes deep. East Hampton making the change while they're deep in the zone. And out comes Mikey McGoldrick. Mikey lobs it in from center. Corda scooped it like a first baseman and holds on. Gonna have a face off to the left of Tyler Cordes. Twelve fifty four remaining. Third period of play. First game of the season here on FCAT Sports. Puck bounces into the East Hampton bench. Seemed like there were no whistles the first part of the second period, and it's been nothing but here in the first two minutes and 12 seconds of the third. Puck goes deep, Brian Bauman in pursuit. Comes around this way. O'Sullivan, the goal scorer. Gets bounced off the play. Jacob Bryant now. Good defensive play by Bowie Harris. And puck goes for icing. Another whistle. We've got 12-26 remaining in the third period. Green Wave lead this one by a count of 3-2. We are here in Greenfield. Kevin Bauman up the half wall. Aiden Roach with the breakout. There was a long lob in high over the cage. Swing and a miss. Petey, oh, Petey gets an elbow in the mouth, courtesy of Chris Tenzar. That elbow was high. Brian Bauman with a drive out. Puck goes through the feet of O'Sullivan. Batchelder went in deep. Puck bounces, oh my goodness. Well, 
Well, that was unnecessary. Yeah, that's Garen Fujil waving at us over here. I had nothing to do with it. It's always nice to be recognized. Actually, we've got a great crowd on hand here at Greenfield this evening. These two teams are going to meet again on February 6th at Lasone Rink in East Hampton. So if you're local to the area, you want to probably put that one on your calendar. I'm certain you're going to see another barn burner like we've had here in Greenfield tonight. Greenfield going on the power play. Fujil sits down for two on that roughing call. Roach tried to keep it in with his skate. Doug Hineski with it. Over to Brian Bauman. Bauman, head of steam over the blue line, goes in deep. Grabs her, and oh! O'Sullivan couldn't quite get the lumber on it. O'Sullivan once again. Hineski went off the ice, though. So hope he's not hurt. He got banged up a little on his knee in the second period, I found out. Minute 20 remain on the Greenfield power play. O'Sullivan and Kyle Barnes working deep in the corner. A little bit out of our vantage point there. Shot goes wide of Tyler Portis. Aiden Roach keeps it in temporarily. Puck goes all the way down behind Riley Drew. Kevin Bauman with it. Frontier student. There goes Aiden Roach. Big shot by Adam Savoy. Portis equal to the task. Pucks back out. Cam Rice plays it deep. Mike McGoldrick recalibrates. 20 seconds remain on the power play. Stripped and oh! What a clearing play by Adam Roach. Aiden Roach, excuse me. Kyle Barnes comes in deep. Oh! Just missed that top corner. Play goes deep. This power play is over. Teams are back at full and equal strength. Field on the change. Mikey McGoldrick had nowhere to go. Banked it off the glass. Bucks outside. Brian Bauman with it. Bauman in a one on five situation. Pineski back on the ice. He's feeling all right. That's good. Foot race for that. It's icing on the play. Got 8.56 remaining in the third period. Green Wave 3, East Hampton Eagles 2. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. We are back in Greenfield. Brian Bauman to take the draw for Greenfield. Quick lob turned aside by Cordes. Sean O'Sullivan keeps it in. Matt Sullivan, no relation. Back to Aiden Roach. Aiden Roach has been very busy, very busy tonight. Brian Bauman. Brian and his brother Kevin out there. Two Frontier student athletes. Long lob from the blue line. O'Sullivan with the follow up. Court is held. And we're down to 8 12 remaining in the third period. I'd like to thank our spotter tonight, Mr. Josh McStubbs. Helping me see deep into the corner when I can't get a good view. Thank you, Josh. 
kicked out of the zone. Pal Barnes knocks it back in. Another icing. by Sean O'Sullivan earlier, his second marker of the season. Nice finish to Aiden Roach's shot. That was Eli Boyle came in deep. There goes Cam Rice. Rice, he knocks it free. Shoots from a difficult angle. on the dish from Cam Rice. Cordes, there's no way he expected that one. Kyle Barnes. Right place, right time. Green Wave takes a four to two lead. Nice finish to that play. Hampton perhaps a little more desperate now, getting a little aggressive on the hits. Riley flashes the mitt. Discussion going on in front of the Greenfield net. A little extracurricular. We hope it's not going to turn into that kind of a Final seven minutes here in Greenfield. Once again, these two teams are scheduled to meet on February 6th at Lasone Rink on the campus of Williston Northampton School. Referee over in front of the benches appears to be giving some kind of warning. Not quite sure what that one was all about. No penalties on the play. Teams are five aside. I believe I heard the announcement on the last Greenfield goal. Kyle Barnes assisted by Jake Croto and Bowie Harris. I would have sworn Cam Rice was in on that play. Brian Bauman in the East Hampton zone. He's stripped. Once again, the Eagles getting very physical here in the late stages of the third period. Mike McGoldrick with the puck. Dumps it. That's an icing call. Probably a good move. Green Wave looking to regroup here. We've got 6.20 remaining in the third. Greenfield has a two goal advantage right now. Don Cherry has said that the worst lead in hockey is a two goal lead. Grapes. Going to be enshrined in the American Hockey League Hall of Fame. Just a month's time. AHL Hall of Fame ceremony taking place in Springfield. So if you're local to that, you might want to check that out. East Hampton, meantime, works the puck. Oh. Jacob Batchelder was in all alone. Cam Rice being called on a trip. So with 5.52 remaining in this one, East Hampton goes on a power play. Let's see who's out for the green wave here. We got Aiden Roach, Jacob Bryan, Aurel Petey, and Brian Bauman. Bauman out to take the draw. East Hampton wins. 
deflection just goes wide. Jacob Bryant with a clear Beatty in pursuit. He's got it when Brian Duda's lost an edge. Blew a tire, as it were. Puck comes back this way. Garen Fugil in. It's Jacob Bryant from behind. Delayed offside call. Byron Durdis from behind the East Hampton net. Can't quite get the handle on it. Aiden Roach harmlessly clears it down behind Tyler Cordes one more time. We're down to five minutes remaining in the third period. Green wave four, East Hampton two. Aiden Roach and Doug Haneski clears. Quick changes by Coach Adam Bouchard. Chris Tensar over the blue line. He's hounded, his shot goes wide. Ooh, a deflection. Riley reached backward, he was there, didn't need to be, puck went wide. Down to 35 seconds remaining in penalty time. And once again, Dudas behind the net. And puck once again off the netting here. Faceoff is going to be right in front of us. We're stationed over by the blue line near the Greenfield penalty box tonight here in Greenfield. Broken stick behind the play. If you've enjoyed our telecast, be sure to let our friends at FCAT Sports know. Certainly love to do more of these games. Face off at center ice. Jake Proto with his first varsity point in his pocket. In pursuit. Penalty's over. Cam Rice back on the ice. Riley for about seven players there. I don't know how he saw that one. Got the lumber on it, knocked it into the corner. McGoldrick up to Croto. Brian Bauman all by himself. Cordes puts the glove on it. Brian Bauman was stationed at that blue line. None of the Eagles saw him there. Went in just. Couldn't get the shot exactly where he wanted. Great effort, though. Both Bowmans have had a great game tonight, as has Aiden Roach. Sean O'Sullivan. Another glove saved by Cordes. We're down to 326 remaining, 4 to 2. Greenfield leading this one. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. We're proud to be with you tonight. Puck bounces off the glass. Riley comes out to play it. Hand off to Bowie Harris. Back up the boards. Adam Savoy. East Hampton gets in the way. Puck's loose. Bodies all over the place. Sean O'Sullivan takes a good look. Sees Savoy. Adam. Adam with a breakout. Oh! So again, both ends of the ice. Bodies flying all over the place. We're down under three minutes to go in this one. Savoy up the boards. He's going to follow up on it. Knocks the puck in deep. Kyle Barnes in pursuit. Puck comes back this way. Aiden Roach once again. Takes a look. Plays it off the boards. Cam Rice. Rice takes on not one but two East Hampton guys. Eli Boyle getting a little frustrated behind the play. No icing. It's right on Riley Drew. Riley covers. 
Once again, Eli Boyle getting a stick up on Aiden Roach. Eli Boyle taking the draw. He's got three goals on the season. Got them all in one night. Game against Chicopee a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and that goes the length of the ice. Another icing call. Minute 53 remain here in Greenfield. Score is 4-2 in favor of the green, the green Wave. This game has delivered on all that we expected it to. Looks like East Hampton wanted to make one more change. Referee is telling him he can't do it. Sending Tyler Darling back on the ice. Batchelder and O'Sullivan admonished by the official. Cheating in on the play. Aiden Roach. Back up this way, Sean O'Sullivan off the glass, clears. He's in pursuit after Byron Dudas. O'Sullivan comes out with the puck, clears it back in behind the goal line. Under a minute and a half remain here in the third period. We're gonna see if Tyler Cordes gets pulled out of that net or not. Doug Haneski in pursuit. Swing and a miss on the far side. Brian Bauman dances around. He's in all, oh, and he's hauled down. No call. No call. Aiden Roach clears up to Brian Bauman. We're down under one minute remaining in this one. Green Wave just looking to be careful at this point. Chris Tensar, Riley. Puck had a mind of its own on that one. Once again, he's stamped on a little pushing and shoving after the whistle. We're down to 41 seconds remaining. Four to two in favor of the Green Wave. Just a reminder, these two teams meet again on February 6th in East Hampton. I certainly expect to be there for that one. I hope we're, uh, we get the opportunity with FCAT Sports to bring that one to you if you can't be with us. Oh! Puck bounces off of Sean O'Sullivan. Jacob Batchelder had uh, taken a slap shot. Bounced all the way down into the East Hampton zone. Puck is down behind Riley Drew. Jacob Bryant wheels it around the boards. Batchelder keeps it in at the blue line. Puck's loose. Batchelder throws it wide. We're down to 10 seconds. And we got a whistle. Eight seconds remain on the clock. Faceoff is going to be to the right of goaltender Riley Drew. One last change. Can't play with seven, guys. We only got five out there. And that is going to do it. And this one's over. This one's over. The green wave. With a big, big win here on their home ice tonight. I said at the start of this telecast that there were going to be playoff implications for a game that's so early in the season, and this one did not disappoint. As the handshake line forms, two goaltenders started off. This was a big win for Greenfield.
for everybody in the FCAT sports family. For my spotter, Josh McStubbs. Good night from Greenfield. This has been Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. Hi, welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena. Lou Bordeaux, the Green Wave Skate Doctor here at Rinkside tonight. Just wanted to give you the final rundown tonight uh, four goals for the Green Wave. Aiden Roach, Doug Hineski, Sean O'Sullivan, Kyle Barnes. Three of the four Frontier students. So thank you to our friends at Frontier for that. Riley Drew, between the pipes for Greenfield, 25 big saves. Uh, at the other end, Tyler Cordes had 28 saves. Uh, it was just a great hockey game from start to finish. Both teams went through that feeling out process early on. Got a little physical towards the end, but Greenfield came out with the 4-2 victory here tonight at the Collins Moylan Arena. Uh, just one more reminder, the two teams will meet again on February 6th at Lassone Rink in East Hampton. If you're local and you love good hockey, this was it tonight. You're going to see another barn burner. So for the final time tonight, the final score, Greenfield 4, East Hampton 2. My name's Lou Bordeaux. Hope to see you again on FCAT Sports. Good night, everybody.